dad killed the boogeyman. Get in there, come on, Tommy. Now lock the door. What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to SeaWorld Productions. You guys, we got some updates on Halloween Kills. Brand new casting. Now, back maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago, there was rumor floating around that Tommy Doyle was supposed to be returning for the sequel for Halloween Kills. And I was like, holy shit, Tommy Doyle's back? I wonder who else they're going to bring back from the original 1978 Halloween. Tommy Doyle is officially coming back, being played by Anthony Michael Hall. Yes, some of you guys may remember him from The Breakfast Club. Obviously, that's one of his greatest roles of all time to me. To me. I think he was also in, was it Sixteen Candles or Pretty in Pink? Fuck, I always get those two films mixed up for some reason because they low-key kind of feel the same. But I, I really remember him from being in The Breakfast Club. That's one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, but I'm excited. I think he's an exceptional you know, actor. And to, come, to be coming back as Tommy Doyle, not only will, you know, Tommy Doyle be returning, but we get backstory on how Tommy Doyle moved on from 1978, from that tragic night that Michael Myers just killing up the entire block, right? So I can't wait to see some backstory on his character as well, what he's been dealing with, what, what's his role going to be in this film? Because obviously, right, the way, the way Halloween 2018 ended, Michael escapes, um, lowers the little trap basement. And then I'm thinking maybe a year later goes by. Michael returns to Haddonfield or it comes out of the shadows, you know, next Halloween and goes after Lori again. But, you know, Lori's much better now. She's not dealing with all that post-traumatic stress. You know, she's, she's happier because Michael's dead. That's the one thing that she's always wanted was Michael to die. And, you know, the fact that she thinks he's dead, I'm pretty sure she's, she's going to be living a much happier life. Now, as for her, like her daughters... Obviously, they're going to be feeling some kind of way because they're, you know, her daughter, her husband died. And her daughter's daughter's fathers died. So, you know, they're going to be dealing with some post-traumatic, you know, stress. And they're going to understand how Lori felt through those 40 years. They're going to understand what she went through. Because the entire time in that first Halloween, they were just giving her shit. Like, get over it. It's over. That was 40 years ago. Come on. Well, guess what? Now you've gone through the same dramatic stress that Lori went through in 1978. So I can't wait to see how they write these characters as well. But I'm super, I'm super static, you guys. I cannot wait. Halloween Kills coming out next year. Halloween Ends 2021. I still can't believe we're getting two more sequels. I'm super excited about you guys. Super duper excited. And I'm super excited to see John Carpenter come back to score the film. You guys already know how I feel about John Carpenter and you know the way he comes up with his music. It's just so astonishing to me. And I'm super thrilled, you guys. But Halloween Kills, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Tommy Doyle coming back, being played by Anthony Michael Hall. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Do you like the casting? Would you like to see Sheriff Brackett return as well? Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time today for watching Seagull Productions. Peace.